हैं एंड एवरी नाउ एंड देन इट्स ऑलवेज जेनेट हु इज बिन टारगेटेड एज द इधर द प्रोटेगनिस्ट और द एंटेगनिस्ट बट नो बडी इज लुकिंग एट सम वन एल्स हु कुड हैव बिन द सूत्रधार who is actually causing all these anomalies so there is a difference between a human knock and a pol- poltergeist knock and i think they found poltergeist knocks the billions of teenagers who are going through hormonal changes right now do you think hormonal changes can attract spirits i'm invisible because i'm a ghost <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ghost Encounters Unfiltered Podcast. Yes, सब कुछ अलग अलग दिख रहा है हम थोड़े से अच्छे दिखने लग गए हैं because uh, we did some investment. Now, even though you want to ignore our faces and jump to Spotify and the audio version, you have to see us. नहीं ऐसा कुछ compulsory नहीं है But uh, yes, this is what we did. Uh, we realized के podcast आपको अच्छा लग रहा है जो हम dissection कर रहे हैं वो अच्छा लग रहा है So we put put in some money and uh, we did some investment got some lights uh, and uh, humne kuch kuch cheeze ki kuch kuch cheeze hatai gayi and i hope ki aapko acha lag raha hai kuch honge jo aake bolenge nahi purana wala acha tha rehne do don't waste your energy humko acha laga that's what matters it's because we enjoy doing this is why we are doing this uh, this is the only reason hai na aur isse koi reason dusra reason hai hi nahi बट एनी वे वी हैव अनदर डायसेक्शन वीडियो वो चेंज नहीं हुआ है द टॉपिक्स जो हैं आपके सजेशन के थ्रू आ रहे हैं एंड दैट्स वाई थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द सजेशन इवन दिस टॉपिक इज़ क्वाइट इन द इन द सजेशन बहुत बार लोगों ने कमेंट भी किया है एंड एज अ रिजल्ट वी डिसाइडेड के लिट्स डायसेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड दिस इज घोस्ट एंड काउंट इज अनफिल्टेड पॉडकास्ट वेयर वी डायसेक्ट सम ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस इन फेमस पैरा नॉर्मल केसेज एंड वी गिव आर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यूज वी शो यू एन एंगल जो कि जनरली मीडिया आपको नहीं दिखाती है जनरली आपको बाकी लोग नहीं दिखाते हैं बिकॉज people generally discredited that part but we know considering hum log ka jo expertise hai hum log ka jo experience hai humko pata hai ki aise angles bhi nikal ke aa sakte hain and this is what ghost encounters unfiltered podcast is all about uh, but uh, without any ado uh, let's start with the podcast but before we start hi my name is sarbachit this is pooja and savio and uh, we are uh, the members of the ghost encounters of the ghost encounters uh, uh, team and we are a group of investigators researchers exorcists psychics healers spiritual counselors and a lot more and we investigate some of the most haunted locations of the country research on the paranormal and bring you topics and videos jo ki india mein koi nahi banata hai na so yes as like i said we have an amazing case to dissect the case we are talking about tonight is the enfield poltergeist case um quite famous quite uh, reputed uh, made famous by the warrens made famous by the conjuring franchise made famous by the demon valak that was a kind of introduced by the conjuring franchise in the movie uh, it was i'll not uh, deny saying ke conjuring 2 is not the best uh, movie in the conjuring franchise i think if i happen to rate it will be first conjuring 1 conjuring 2 and then the latest conjuring jo bhi hai बट या दिस इज हाउ इट इज बट जो स्टोरी के ऊपर वो बेस था मूवी तो बहुत ही अलग बनी थी टोटल द डेविएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स द डेविएटेड बिकॉज दे हैड टू सेटिस्फाई द क्रिएटिव लिबर्टी ऑफ कोर्स बट बहुत सारी चीज़ें रियल रखी गई थी जैसे जो विक्टिम का नाम जो था दैट इज इफ शी इज अ विक्टिम जो सिचुएशन था जो जगह थी एंड इट इज बेस्ड इन अ कंट्री Uh, in a place that is very very close to me personally i'm sure for you also it's based in london mm-hmm. and uh, london is a place that we really want to investigate and and feel poltergeist even though uh, the case may have its own angle uh, every investigator that has investigated the enfield house they have claimed of experiencing things which they have never experienced um so how did it lead to that part maybe wo hum log ka dissection mein samajh mein aa jayega but as of now let's get into the details and people uh, if you uh, want to grab some popcorn or something to drink this is your chance because we start with a long 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 description of the case kyunki bahut sare elements hai isme so 
On the evening of uh, Tuesday, 30th uh, August 1977, Peggy Hodgson, a 47-year-old divorced mother of four, went into her children's bedroom to tell them to stop fighting and go to sleep. They were complaining that the bed was shaking, but thinking no more of it, she went to bed. The next night, she heard a shuffling noise like someone walking about on the uh, in slippers, and then it was followed by four loud knocks. A chest of drawers uh, slid across the floor. Peggy pushed it back and it slid forward again. She tried to push it back but couldn't. It was then that the family fled to the Nottingham's at 282, 282 uh, Green Street and asked for help. Vic Nottingham, a roofer, and his son, Gary, went over to the Hodgson ho uh, Hodgson's house to investigate and heard knocks coming from all over the house. Thinking someone is playing a prank, they called the police who came out uh, at the house at 1 a.m. and the police checked the walls, the attic and the pipes, but could find nothing to explain the tapping and the knocks. One of the police officers said the PC and the neighbors all went into the kitchen to check the refrigerator pipes, etc., leaving the family and myself in the living room. The lights in the living room were switched off again and within a few minutes, the eldest son pointed to a chair that was standing next to the sofa. I looked at the chair and noticed that it was wobbling slightly from side to side. I then saw the chair slide across the floor towards the kitchen wall. It moved approximately three to four feet and then came to rest. The next night, Vic went back to the house and was attacked with flying Lego. Marbles and Lego flew around the house for the next three days and various people visited in an effort to help, including members of the councils and clergy. At a loss as to what to do, on September 4th, Miss Nottingham called the Daily, uh, Daily uh, Mirror, hoping that they could do something to help. The Mirror sent reporter Douglas Bench and photographer Graham Morris. Graham Morris later said, I thought it was an ordinary job until I walked into the house. I stood in the gloom in the kitchen and one by one they brought the children into the adults' arms and the last one to come in was Janet. Suddenly, things just took off and started flying around the room. I got hit by a Lego brick over my right eye. It gave me a lump for a few days. There was a fair bit of force. There were marbles and things left in the kitchen that were just flying around the room. I was watching all of the family members and none of them was doing anything. George Fallows, a senior reporter at the Mirror and photographer David Thorpe visited the house as well. Fallows believed at first that Peggy was playing tricks in order to get a new council house, but he soon realized that something serious was going on. Fallows suggested contacting the Society for Psychical Research, one of the oldest societies to research on parapsychology, and he was put in contact with Maurice Gross, a relatively new member of the society who had joined after the death of his daughter the year before. Gross visited the house on the 5th of September. Gross also saw flying marbles, jumping uh, teaspoons and boxes and a sofa that rose into the air and crashed down on the floor upside down. Gross was among several people to witness these events. Other witnesses included the reporter and the next door neighbors. Gross and the photographer rigged up a camera that took photos when triggered and managed to capture Janet being thrown from her bed. Realizing that he was out of his depth, Gross asked the SPR or the Society of Psychical Research for help in investigating the poltergeist activity. Guy Playfair accepted the request and arrived at the house on the 12th of September. He was the one who later wrote the book, This House is Haunted, the True Story of the Enfield Poltergeist. The family were chased out of the house on Sunday the 25th of September and sought refuge with Peggy's brother who lived up the road. With his wife, uh, uh, Sylvia made some tea, a Lego brick appeared in front of her and dropped onto the table. It was then the family realized that the entity could follow them out of the house. Gross and Playfair saw uh, some uh, pillows and uh, bed were having this formation that looked like someone was lying on the bed, like there was some mass to it. There was a suspicion that the spirit of a four-year-old child who had been smothered with the pillow by her father may be responsible for these incidents. Peggy had been given items of furniture from the house of the little girl when she moved into her property in, in, in Enfield. Peggy made sure to throw out any furniture belonging to the little girl's former house, but the activity continued. 
Janet wasn't the only person affected by the poltergeist. Her mother claimed to know when events were about to take place as she would get a headache and Margaret at one point shared the same dreams. However, the activity always followed Janet. Apparitions started to appear and a neighbor's brother, brother saw a light about a foot tall burning in the Hodgkin's window before fading away. Another neighbor and Peggy saw the same elderly woman in different windows independently of each other. Janet's brother Johnny saw an old man with big teeth staring at him. In all, it was believed that around 15 different people saw some kind of supernatural entity during the hauntings. A physicist called John Hested, who strapped Janet to a blundell couch, which is an apparatus used to measure such anomalies, found that her weight increased in a way that couldn't be explained. He also observed a light bulb exploded, which he considered a similar unexplainable incident. Another physicist called David Robertson attempted to secretly video Janet, but found it is impossible to conceal the equipment. He saw several unexplained incidents, however, such as a sideboard, overturning, Janet levitating, and a cushion being transported to the roof, among other things. On Monday, the 10th of November, which was Janet's 12th birthday, Playfair invited an Argentinian psychic called Eduardo Balanovsky to visit. He bought a magnetometer, which they used to look for anomalies in the electromagnetic field around the house. During his visit, Janet's pillow was thrown around and the machines registered a change in the electromagnetic field strength. On the 12th of November, Janet, on the advice of psychic, left pens and papers around the house and called out the entity to leave her a message, after which messages started appearing around the house. Peggy found one of the fridge that said, I will stay in this house, do not read this to anyone or I will retaliate. The next day, Peggy placed a tea bag on the table and a ripped tea, ba a tea bag manifested next to it. Peggy's ex turned up at the house and she showed him the messages. Once he had gone, Peggy apologized to the entity for showing him the messages and another one appeared saying, it was a misunderstanding, don't do it again, I know who that was. The writing was very similar to Janet's handwritings. On Tuesday the 29th of November, the first medium, a Brazilian psychic called Louis Gasparetto, visited the family. He was accompanied by his interpreter L.C who was a member of the healing department of Sao Paulo's State Spiritist Federation. They offered some spiritual healing to the family, which gave some respite. Louis would go into a trance-like state and produce drawings and paintings, and after they left, Janet began producing disturbing bloody pictures whilst in a trance. She also wrote the name Watson over and over on a page. It turned out that a family called Watson had lived in the house and the wife had died of a tumor in her throat in a similar way to one of the bloody pictures Janet had drawn. On Saturday 3rd December, Janet was pulled out of her bed and Morris found her sliding down the stairs head first while she was still asleep. A couple of days later, another member of the SPR joined the team, a student physicist called David Roberts. More members of the SPI joined them on the 10th of December, Dr. John Beloff and um, Anita Gregory. The group challenged the entity to speak and after some whistles and barking, a gruff voice calling himself Joe Watson began to speak. However, the next night, the voice said that his name was Bill Wilkins and on Tuesday, the 13th December, Morris's, uh, Morris Gross's son Richard, who was a newly qualified solicitor, helped his father interrogate the presence. The spirit responded with banging in response to the question and, and, and uh, but a man's voice was soon heard coming from somewhere behind Janet's neck. The voice identified itself as Bill Wilkins who had died in the house at the age of 72. Richard asked him how he died and he said, I went blind, I had a hemorrhage, hemorrhage. I fell asleep and died in a chair in the corner downstairs. Bill's son, Terry, later confirmed that this was indeed how his father had died. When Playfair asked why he wasn't visible, Bill said, I'm invisible because I'm a ghost. To rule out any possibility of Janet faking the voice, Gross taped up her mouth, but the voice continued. He then asked Janet to hold water in her mouth, which she did, and the voice could still be heard talking. Gross recorded hours of the voice by using a contact microphone placed on the back of Janet's head. A speech therapist who examined uh, Janet said that they couldn't be certain where the voice was coming from, though 
it bore some resemblance to a false vocal cord uh, tone there is a voice effect known as plica ventricularis which is where muscle tension behind the throat can produce sounds independent of vocal cords however using this muscle tension to speak often results in an extremely sore throat and can do some serious damage none of which had happened to janet who would speak for up to 3 hours with the same voice since no cause could be found it was concluded that something was using janet as an amplifier it was soon after this that big, uh, janet began levitating on uh, thursday 15 december at 11:45 am hazel shot the local lollipop lady witnessed janet floating around her room on friday 23rd of december the family goldfish died and bill admitted that he had electrocuted them in their tank using spirit energy on christmas day the pet parak uh, the pet parakeet was found dead in its cage and later that day janet was found with a curtain wrapped around her neck peggy managed to untangle her saving her from the suffocation janet later complained that a knife was following her around upstairs and peggy found one of the knives she had just put away on the stairs On May 16, the SPR formed a committee in order to carry out their own investigation. The committee interviewed the witnesses which they found convincing. They also consulted Charles Moses, an experienced investigator from the Southern California Society of Psychical Research. The committee found that there was good evidence of paranormal phenomena as described by various witnesses. On 25th July, the family sent Janet to Maudsley Hospital, which is a psychiatric hospital in South London, and the incidents died down even though the family still saw apparitions. Janet underwent extensive psychical, physical, uh, and psychological assessment at the Institute of Neuropsychiatry under Dr. Peter Fenwick, and nothing was found to be wrong with her, including, you know, band, uh, brain damage or epilepsy. Janet uh, returned on the first September after being away for nearly six weeks, and within half an hour saw the apparition of a little boy. On Monday, second October, they called in another medium, a Dutchman named Dono Meleg Meling. who came to the house and traveled along the astral plane he was certain that a 24 year old woman was involved in the case morris gross had a daughter called janet who had died in a car crash uh, who had died in a crash uh, age 24 and it was this that had led him to become a member of the spr many people thought it is her daughter uh, his daughter that is involved in the case After Dono identified the 24-year-old woman, the incident stepped off and then stopped completely. And this is the case of the Enfield Poltergeist case. Very interesting, right? Very. Very. So many elements, no? Oh, the elements. Yeah. I love a case which has so many elements. And I think this is one of the cases जो मैं सुन रही हूँ जिसमें इतने सारे tests हुए हैं. Tests हुए हैं, media involved है. the um, research teams from different countries exactly. have been involved yeah. but do you realize one thing warrens ka naam ek mein bhi mention nahi hai right and the entire conjuring to was based on warrens taking over the case yeah right and one more the thing that i noticed in this is all the research organizations that you that were called over here all were either into psychic abilities mm. or into uh, what do you call that uh, i'm not getting that term i just had it and i forgot about it so uh, so all these types of uh, people were used and there wasn't any other than the psychiatric uh, treatment that was put upon i mean janet was put through there was no other uh, you know coherent coherent tests that they were put onto that guy was traveling astrally yeah. the other person was looking out for knocks he himself was disturbed by his own daughter's death yeah. right and he called on to another psychic organization and everybody were like from the same plane so it is very easy if you're calling up I mean, uh, uh, such people they will definitely not question the credibility of this they will definitely want to believe that there is a poltergeist activity yeah lekin na ispe aur tests bhi hue the janet pe because uh, she was like the center you know uh, the main person jiske around cheeze ho rahi hain so ispe bahut tests hue the and i was actually feeling so sad for her because uh, she also underwent this particular test that's known as uh, uh, laryngography something like that yeah i think it's laryngography where they use the la- yeah so they in, uh, take a mirror or an um, what do you a call camera. that huh a camera, yeah a and probe. it's 
उथ और इन द नोज तो आई थिंक शी इवन अंडर वेंट दैट एंड वो फैरिंग पे जाता है एंड देन दे मॉनिटर द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द वोकल कॉर्ड सो बिकॉज शी वॉज टॉकिंग इन अ डिफरेंट टोन एंड दैट होर्स वॉइस एंड ऑल इसके वोकल कॉर्ड वगैरह पे भी बहुत टेस्ट हुए थे and that actually leads the person with a lot of sore throat and you know bahut sari cheeze so big just to rule out ki wo jo awaaz aa rahi hai wo kahan se aa rahi hai she poor thing actually underwent a lot of tests because there was a time you know when i saw that picture wo picture dekhi hai iski where she is levitating levitating yeah. That was very like you know that put me in doubt because वो ऐसा लग रहा था जैसे ट्रैम्पोलिन पे जो जम्प करके पिक्चर खींचता है ना सो आई वॉज लाइक नहीं यार ये लेविटेशन नहीं है नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं है एक्चुअली एंड देर लॉट ऑफ सी एक एक चीज वॉट द गुड थिंग अबाउट दिस केस इज सो मेनी ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन दिस इज द ओनली गुड थिंग बिकॉज एंड आई डोंट नो वाई दिस केस गॉट सो मच ऑफ द अटेंशन प्रॉब्लली बिकॉज फ्रॉम वेरी इनिशियल स्टेज द प्रेस वॉज इन्वॉल्व लाइक लाइक आई डोंट नो कौन सा नेबर मीडिया के पास जाता है टू फाइंड अ सोल्यूशन टू द इशू लाइक डेली मिरर वॉज द फर्स्ट पीपल द कॉन्टेक्टेड के मीडिया वाले आके हेल्प करेंगे मोस्ट प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज तब का सिचुएशन वैसा होगा बट इट्स लाइक वॉट नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज की बात है ना आई थिंक इट्स क्वाइट मॉडर्न देखा जाए तो लॉट ऑफ अदर केसेज दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डायसेक्टेड हियर बट वन थिंग आई आई डोंट लाइक इट एंड आई नो दिल बी लॉट ऑफ फैंस ऑफ द वॉरेंस एंड ऑल कि जो इंटरनल बात जो पता है जो पैरानॉर्मल कम्युनिटी में जो बोला जाता है ये बोला जाता है कि दैट द वॉरेंट्स एक्चुअली वे नेवर इन्वॉल्व इन इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग द केस द ओनली थिंग दैट डिड वॉज दे वेर इन लंडन फॉर सम ऑफ देयर सेमिनार्स एंड दिस हैपन टू गो टू द एनफील्ड पॉलिटिक्स बिकॉज इट वॉज सो फेमस दैट्स वॉट इवन आई हर्ट एंड उन्होंने बस पूछा था कि सब कैसा है क्या चल रहा है एंड एवरी थिंग बट द मूवी शोड Okay, it was their case and everything. While in this entire report, I read not a single time the Warrens ka naam mentioned nahi hua tha. One thing. Second thing is uh, what you said about ke the so many psychical research are involved. But just to I'm I'm not taking sides. But the Society of Psychical Research it was established in 1882. It is one of the oldest psychical research uh, researchers they are, and they uh, I, I still follow them on Twitter. and they are some of the b- best website they have on everything that is afterlife like you'll see the researches on near death experiences on shared death experiences on astral traveling on investigations on paranormal they are very good reads you know uh but that doesn't take away the fact that they are still humans and humans were kind of given uh, to the point and uh, bringing jo ye jo banda tha morris tha i think who lost his daughter and he uh, joined spr and fir wo investigate kar raha tha right right ha so this is a clear sign if you have unhealed wounds in within yourself do not step into the paranormal wo to hai wo to main hamesha bolti hu that they look for your inner demons <laughs> to actually Haan, overpower na, you exactly kyunki isme kaisa ho raha hai ki abhi matlab samajh nahi aa raha hai ki abhi was he biased वॉज ही एक्चुअली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सी के शायद उसकी बेटी ही एक्चुअली इन्वॉल्व है तो मे बी वॉज लुकिंग के एक लास्ट बार मैं बात कर पाऊँ उसकी बेटी का नाम भी जैनट है सो वॉज देर वो ऐसा होता ना जब कोई पुलिस केस इन्वॉल्व होता है या फिर कोई ऐसा डिटेक्टिव केस इन्वॉल्व होता है अगर आप पर्सनली वो केस के साथ इन्वॉल्व होते हो तो आपको निकाल दिया जाता है वो केस से बिकॉज योर इमोशनल स्टेट कैन एक्चुअली क्लाउड योर जजमेंट एंड यू कैन बिकम वेरी वेरी बायस्ड that is done with even surgeons also they are not yes. allowed to uh, operate yes. on their own kin own, yeah own children right correct so that's what um, uh, so many of these things but kahin na kahin jaake na mere andar bhi and uh, i remember seeing the enfield uh, photo enfield ghar ka photo oh, exactly in 2016 2016 mein maine pehli bar uska asli because one of our friends in london he went in front of the house yeah, and he clicked a photo and he sent me uh, um, पर्सनली के मैसेज पे के देख सर ब दिस इज एनफील्ड हाउस एंड इट 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 लुक्स इट लुक्स सिमिलर टू अदर इट्स लाइक अ रो हाउस जैसा एग्जैक्टली हाउस बट द वाइब्स आर डिफरेंट definitely post sunset that vibes are different yeah. somebody has posted even a night walk around that place uh, and it is really spooky yeah, yeah. मैं ना uh, 
जस्ट सम डेज बैक मैं देख रही थी एक्चुअली ये पिक्चर वेन वी डिसाइडेड ओके लेट्स टेक दिस केस अप आई वॉज सींग द पिक्चर ऑफ दिस हाउस एंड मुझे ना एक्चुअली बहुत बिजार चीज़ आई आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट इट बिकॉज मुझे इस बारे में रिसर्च करना पड़ेगा इट्स वेरी बिजार अकॉर्डिंग टू मी थोड़ा सम थिंग्स आई एम अवेयर ऑफ सम थिंग्स और सम थिंग्स दैट वॉर न्यू टू मी आई एनी वे शेयर कि क्या था सो आई गॉट लाइक यू नो इसे क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर में दिखाया गया मुझे दैट हाउ वी हैव दिस जो फॉल्ट लाइन होती है ना टेक्टोनिक प्लेट्स एंड जो अर्थक्वेक वगैरह आता है सो जहाँ पर फॉल्ट लाइन होती है वहाँ पर देर इज अ बिगर चांस फॉर द अर्थक्वेक्स टू हैपन हाँ एंड या एंड वहाँ पे उनकी इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड भी शिफ्ट होती होगी जियो मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी भी शिफ्ट होती होगी बहुत कुछ होता होगा सो हियर आई वॉज शोन दैट दिस प्लेस लाइक यू नो इट इज लिटरली देर इज अ फॉल्ट लाइन बिकॉज देर इज अ डायमेंशनल ओवरलैप हैपनिंग विच रन अक्रॉस दिस हाउस ठीक है नाउ डायमेंशन की अगर हम बात करें इट इज नॉट अ डिफरेंट प्लेस इट्स अ शिफ्ट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट्स इट राइट एंड द डायमेंशन ओवरलैप लाइक इवन द इवन इन दिस रूम देर वुड बी डायमेंशन ओवरलैपिंग सो सो दिस प्लेस हैज काइंड ऑफ अ डायमेंशनल फॉल्ट लाइन विच इज रनिंग थ्रू इट एंड इट काइंड ऑफ बिकम्स एन ई एम एफ इन इट सेल्फ लाइक अ पोर्टल नॉट एग्जैक्टली अ पोर्टल बट अ पोर्टल I'm not, I'm not able to explain it. तो मैं I was trying to read about this dimensional overlap वगैरह तो वो तो पता नहीं time, space and पता नहीं कहाँ कहाँ चला गया था I have to still dig into it. This was something bizarre that I received, but uh, so you are saying के वो घर के नीचे, especially that घर के नीचे there is a dimensional नीचे नहीं वो घर के through the house through the house through the house that's a very wonderful take up that can actually be what it is अभी ना that's the only issue with human mind के वो कॉम्प्रेंड करने को टाइम लगेगा लॉट ऑफ आर व्यूअर्स एंड ऑडियंस विल बी लाइक कि हम लोग मतलब वो लोग इमेजिन भी नहीं कर पाएंगे व्हाट शी जस्ट सेड बिकॉज मेरे को खुद को डिफिकल्टी हो रहा है टू इवन विजुअलाइज कि एक तो वी कांट सी द चेंज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी सडनली यू नो कि अभी तो उसका भी ओवरलैप हो रहा है थ्रू दैट हाउस नो आई 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 लव द वे शी एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन इट यूजिंग द फॉल्ट लाइन एनालॉजी लाइक हमको ये तो पता है कि इन द थ्री डिमेंशनल प्लेन दे कैन बी फॉल्ट लाइन विच आर क्लैशिंग विद ईच अदर राइट बट नो बडी हैज सॉर्ट दैट थ्री डिमेंशनल और फोर्थ डिमेंशन में भी ऐसे फॉल्ट लाइन हो सकते हैं दैट इज वॉट आई लव्ड अबाउट दिस एनालॉजी इट इट एक्चुअली खुड बी it actually could be that uh, all of them were affected by this and as a reason collectively everybody heard these knocks and everyone who came over and there and there were 15 people who had seen different entities so ye to literally jaise hub ho gaya na like a hotspot the house very true. itself very true and very true and uske upar se this girl janet she herself is a chalta firta emf बिकॉज एक तो इसके लाइक वेन आई वॉज रीडिंग हर तब एक तो मुझे सबसे पहले वापस स्ट्राइक हुआ वॉज द रिकरेंट स्पॉन्टेनियस काइंडनेस आर एस पी के बिकॉज शी इज लाइक एन इलेवन ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल एंड इलेवन ईयर ओल्ड टीन एज में देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ शिफ्ट दैट आर हैपनिंग इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड दे स्टार्ट रेडिएटिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ लाइक नो देर इज अ शिफ्ट इन द एनर्जी एंड बहुत ज़्यादा आउटर वर्ल्ड को वो लोग ये करते हैं आई मीन यू नो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ आई वुड से देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ शिफ्ट और आई वुड से वॉज द एग्जैक्ट वर्ड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एनर्जी दैट्स रेडिएटिंग बियॉन्ड देयर ब्रेन बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट दे आर रेडिएटिंग इन दैट फेज वेन दे आर यू नो इसमें आर एस पी के में सो वो खुद भी एक हब है वो खुद भी एक चलती फिरती ई एम एफ पंप है uh yeah i agree with uh, what we are saying but the first time when this case came to me na i mean mai hamesha uh, ek skeptic ke view se pehle baat dekhunga we'll first have to negate all the natural causes and i'm not negating and i'm not discounting the facts that so many other uh, research organizations actually did a lot of research they tried to catch a lot of anomalies they tried to catch a lot of uh, irregularities in whatever they were saying and i'm it's unfortunate that janet had to go through all these things at that point of time there were some people who were saying that uh she was a super intelligent girl yeah. whereas there were other people who said that for her age itna intelligence is not done correct however uh, if you see in the newspapers right now a 11 year old girl has already surpassed the iq level of uh, yeah. Albert Einstein and is 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 offered a job somewhere in one of these big companies so this is possible it is not that it is not possible for her to be super intelligent but uska intelligence 
और इमोशंस का फर्क होता है देर इज समथिंग नोन एज आई क्यू एंड देर इज समथिंग नोन एज ई क्यू इमोशनल पोर्शन सो वॉज शी दैट मनुपलेटिव और वॉज शी मनुपलेटेड बाई सम एल्डर टू हर एंड दैट्स द टाइम बाई फोकस चेंज टू हर एल्डर सिस्टर Who was 13 at that point of time? And this, she's totally not in the frame. In at way. all, mm-hmm. she is like the uh, mother superior who is there behind, like a shadow, yeah. in front of Janet, mm-hmm. who is always in the eye of the storm. Sub tests, जो भी होना होता है, वो Janet पे ही किया गया था. Last room में कौन enter मारता है? Janet मारते हैं. ये सब पहले आते हैं. And every now and then, it's always Janet who has been targeted as the either the protagonist or the antagonist. but nobody is looking at someone else who could have been the sutradhar who is actually causing all these anomalies and wo bhi th- wo bhi 13 year old hi thi she was also in that rspk wala phase yeah. and if you look at the uh, I'm, i'm not talking about the, uh, the the asian subcontinent right now but if you look at the caucasian the uh, uh, in the 70s in the 60s especially the uh, what is it called the hippie culture boom the flower culture that anywhere is going here there and everywhere people li- li- leaving america and the uh, uh, and even england for that matter had traveled to asia to india and all and they were flowering everywhere that's called the flower culture happy culture anybody could go around with anyone at that point of time so it is not too far fetching for a 13 year old to have another love interest outside and to shift attention from all those things would use her younger sister as a cover as a cover and saying that you know what i mean you do this and you will be helping me you will be a hero in my love story or something like that right and uh, one more other thing that i noticed in uh, um, in janet is when i watched her interview the way she speaks and everything her facial expressions and all she has a bit of androgyny in her she has features of masculinity i'm not against anything i'm not fostering anything over here i'm not uh, complaining anything over here but for such a person to speak in a man's voice or in, a, in, in any other voice is possible like hmm. i think i think it's possible for anyone uh, irrespective of uh, you know what you said because we have singers here in bollywood who can sing in both the voices and no one will even know that it's a female singing unless they sing sonu nigam can flatter his voice in so many ways as a kid and as a girl kar sakte hain because that's how they have they can they can control their vocal cord which is quite normal but uh, I, i this is i'm totally going off topic here because i want to address this particular thing in the cecil hotel when we were giving all this angle someone i think commented that why can't just pooja agree that you know it's all paranormal why does she has to think you know there could be other angles dude this is the reason you are watching this podcast we are the reason you are questioning paranormal uh, if that's not the case every damn thing in the world we can sit right here and prove them paranormal that's how it goes everything every murder can be termed as a paranormal every house burn can be termed uh, as a demonic activity every uh, possession can be declared as possession if we do not see the scientific angle which we are planning to show so if you are interested if you are open to the subject of learning this podcast is for you if you are here to conclude oh ye to paranormal hi hai mere ko sun ke kya karna this podcast is not for you because we have been very good at it we have been doing it for the last 10 years is what we do is we break the traditional belief of paranormal Uh, the traditional belief of possession the traditional belief of how hauntings happen we know there are multiple angles of hauntings for example in this case uh, like what you said janet could be the reason why everything was happening from both the angle either she was creating it or she was actually the victim because uh, when uh, considering the voice wala part ke pani rakh ke bhi dekha gaya tape karke rakha gaya i'm just thinking ki wo bichari क्या क्या कर रही थी वो जस्ट टू प्रूव के वो नहीं कर रही है इफ वाज एक्चुअली यू नो अ विक्टिम मैं वही सोच रही थी बिकॉज इनिशियली एज इवन सैवियो सैड एंड इवन यू आर सेइंग कि हम सबसे पहले ये देखते हैं कि यहाँ पर हम सारी नेचुरल चीजें हटाए यू नो सो इवन आई वाज लाइक कि नहीं पिक्चर में तो मुझे गड़बड़ लग रही है बिकॉज वैसा लग रहा है कि वो ट्रैम्पोलिन जैसे जम्पिंग होती है सो इट वॉज नॉट इट डेंट लुक लाइक लेविटेशन एट ऑल टू मी सेम वे जैसे सर भाई यू आर जस्ट सेइंग कि वॉइस क्रिएट करी जा सकती है यू नो मैस्कुलिन वॉइस एंड होर्सनेस इन द वॉइस या जो भी बोल लो बट वन थिंग आफ्टर अंडर गोइंग सो मेनी टेस्ट विच आर पेनफुल 
एनी पर्सन और वो ग्यारह साल की लड़की है यार मतलब शी विल नॉट वॉन्ट टू अंडर गो इफ शी इज फेकिंग एंड इफ शी इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग दो साउंड आउट शी इज गोइंग टू गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट दैट शी हैड टू गो थ्रू पॉइंट ये भी हो जाता है ना कि कभी कभी ये भी देखना पड़ता है कि शी वॉज सिंगल मदर शी प्रॉब्ली वॉज लैकिंग फादर्स लव एंड एवरी थिंग वो सब नहीं नहीं सही कि एंड देन गोइंग थ्रू ऑल दिस टेस्ट एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट जस्ट टू मेक प्रूव वॉट एवर द पीपल वॉन्टेड हर टू प्रूव anyone would be like you know what you just conclude whatever the fuck you want to conclude you remember that yeah. uh, case jo hum logo ne even jo beer biceps ke second uh, episode mein uh, tune share kiya tha about the girl uh, the, the 10th standard girl yeah, that yeah, we investigated yeah, yeah. so where uh, we have even spoken about this earlier where usme itni power aa gayi thi that she was chained and wo char panch logon ko sath mein uda rahi thi she bit the psychologist she slapped yeah. the psychologist until the psychologist reached out to us that there is something wrong and it's beyond our control and hame help chahiye and when i was talking to her uh the first question which you have even mentioned in the podcast was when where i asked her ki are you scared of exams right and one more thing i asked her i remember which uh, which i think you had uh, missed mentioning i i had asked her ki tujhe hospital mein le jaya ja raha hai tujhe steroids diye ja rahe hain tujhe injections diye ja rahe hain you are spending Uh, I mean, not just hours, days, but weeks in hospital, and it was mid uh, the pandemic time. I said, "There are infections. This is that. That is whatever. You are feeling good. What is all this happening? She is like, 'No, I am not liking it.' So then I was like, 'Why are you doing it?' And, and same over and here, wo, Janet. And and usme bhi na, usme bhi shayad wo jitna humko batai was just the tip of the iceberg. Exactly. There could exactly. be something yeah. way more. जो कि उसने बताया ही नहीं एंड सेम गोज फॉर बट देन कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक ऑफ आर एस पी के आई स्टिल वॉन्डर सो मच ऑफ आर एस पी के सो मच ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस बिकॉज अ पर्सन इज गोइंग थ्रू हॉर्मोनल चेंजेस एंड इमोशनल इट्स लेवल का नहीं हो सकता है इज वॉट आई वेरी ऑनस्ट एंड नॉट जस्ट अबाउट टू डॉटर्स ऑल्सो ब्रदर्स इन्वॉल्व इन दिस इज कमिंग टू की अनलेस इट्स अ कम्बाइंड effort effort, effort uh, uh, rsp ke of course uh, uh, voluntary bhi hota hai involuntary bhi hota hai jo bhi hai but uh, because na jaise ki uh, there are so many of these details where like 15 different people have seen something or wow. the other there are things moving there are uh, reporters ke muh pe pillows ja ke lag rahe hain legos ja ke lag rahe hain apne ud rahe hain all things can happen in rsp ke ho sakta hai because every time ye sab cheeze udhi hain janet is there janet could yeah. be causing that uh and i think it was because of the constant experiments on her it, uh, they were all experiments to prove paranormal this is what a psychic uh, psychical teams were doing uh it only increased i think because wo na se badhte gaya because the stress level badhta gaya exactly stress level jitna badhega andar wo energy jitni badhegi uska wo outer effect utna hi zyada intensify hoga yeah. true उन्होंने उसके अंदर और स्टैटिक भर के रख दिया yeah, ताकि yeah, वो किधर yeah. भी हाथ हाथ भी डाला नहीं कि वो गायब वहां से उड़ जाएगा लॉट लॉट ऑफ दोज एंड सो मेनी एलिमेंट जैसे कि अभी हम लोग एक एक करके बात करेंगे तो इट विल बी लाइक अ टू आवर लॉन्ग पॉडकास्ट बट इवन यू नो जैसे साइकिक्स भी आके देख रहे हैं ना वॉट वॉट इज योर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ दिस साइकिक रीडिंग दैट दे गॉट एक साइकिंग ने तो ट्रांस में चला जाके देखा कि 24 फोर ईयर गर्ल एक है जिसका नाम जैनेट है एंड वो इसकी बेटी है मॉरिस की बेटी है देन देर वॉज अनदर जो कि उसके बर्थडे पे बुलाया गया ट्वेल्थ बर्थडे पे एंड वो मैग्नेटोमीटर लेके आया विच इज बेसिकली आर ट्राई फील्ड पुराना ई एम एफ सेंसर एंड ई एम एफ बी फ्लक्चुएट हुआ सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट आर एस पी के वी आर वी हैव टू कंसिडर हियर दैट मीन्स देर आर सम फ्लक्चुएशन दैट वो हैपनिंग एंड हाँ आई रिमेंबर वन मोर थिंग यहाँ पे ना दे इवन टेस्टेड द नॉक्स क्योंकि पॉलिटिकिस्ट एक्टिविटी के नॉक्स एंड ह्यूमन नॉक्स का जो एकस्टिक उसका जो साउंड इफेक्ट है ना दैट्स डिफरेंट because and, usme bhi uh, test hua tha just to add uh, poltergeist activities cannot be reproduced they yeah, cannot, cannot be, be recreated, recreated yeah. again wo uh, same aayenge hi nahi kabhi nahi same aayenge wo kyunki human knock uh, according to them usme kaise hota hai ki there is a bang and then the sound tapers 
वेर एज इफ इट इज़ अ पॉलिटिकीस्ट एक्टिविटी एंड अ पॉलिटिकीस्ट इससे अगर नॉक आ रहा है इट विल गो स्लो इट विल बी फीबल द साउंड देन इट विल एम्पलीफाई एंड देन इट अगेन टेपर सो देर इज़ अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ ह्यूमन नॉक एंड अ पॉलिटिकीस नॉक एंड आई थिंक दे फाउंड पॉलिटिकीस नॉक्स यू What is it pr- pr- pronounced? Poltergeist or poltergeist? Depends. Poltergeist is a better pr- pronunciation. Poltergeist. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For those people who are hearing, poltergeist means noisy oh. ghost. Yeah. Japanese yeah. Yeah. Japanese word geisha yeah. mm. comes from the same thing. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, the psychic reading part that I was asking you both, what do you think of the psychics out there? Like, why uh, do you think? uh what they are getting is true or was it an influence of what they were seeing and hearing no i don't know i will not uh, negate whatever the psychics unearthed at that point of time but time and again i always keep saying the same thing again uh that we should not rely too many uh, too much on gadgetry yeah and rely more on as you say i mean sarva you say that the the, the most important gadget okay. that we take to our uh, investigations is a human brain brain it's a human mind so you may have a balloon you may have a a, a candle or you may have the best of gadgetry that has been uh, humans have produced or invented even now and it is of late that people have started uh, discrediting the k2 meter yeah right but in some point of time people were using even the k2 meter and proving places to be haunted or not what matters is Whether it is haphazard, the responses are coming haphazard, yes. or whether it is coming exactly yes. when you ask it. Yes. Like there was some idiot who was uh, trying to discredit the Vasa investigation, saying that the owls can how uh, screech any time. Yeah. But what when we ask the owl, exactly. owl, owl, our pala hua to nahi tha na. So when we are saying, okay, fine, make a, a noise, the owl was exactly screeching at that point of time. So that if it was an owl, first of all, we do not know what is that screeching noise coming from. It was a very different screechy yeah. noise. So you may take anything. You may take a paper. You may take a milk cooker you may take anything but if you ask the 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 gadget to make a noise at that point of time and it is intelligently yes. responding to you yes. then we better take that as we as truth we have to consider it see uh, that's the whole idea we have to at the end of the day mai constantly bolta rehta hu investigation video mein bolta rehta hu podcast mein bolta rehta hu we are investigators when you are investigating a thing ab aisa detective walon ko bhi dekhoge they will use some methods they will be like kya stupid hai but they are trying to figure out something there they are trying to figure out an mo there ek methodology there or something ke pattern kya hai kya nahi hai that's the job unless we do that there is no conclusion unless we do that there is no investigation so there has to be an investigation for example when we first heard the screech Uh, at Versailles Fort, we all were like, "Auntie, क्या कुछ हो रहा होगा?" Exactly. And the second time it happened, and then all of us were like, "यार ये जब हम पूछ रहे हैं कुछ reply करने को तभी क्यों हो रहा है?" Then we asked the question, "कि करके दिखाओ." And then it happened on the third time. Then we were like, "हाँ, ये तो it is just you know it is representing कि क्या वो the females have gone through वहाँ पे." It's a it's an audio representation of what how the females were shouting and screaming for help or for, in pain or whatever it is. So it's very important to investigate, and that's why, like you rightfully said, we actually cannot discredit the psychics who got involved here uh, because, of course, we were not there. Uh, we can still investigate the house because people do allow, the owner still allows, I think, to go and investigate the place. and uh, we can always investigate and come to a conclusion and there could be a part 2 of this podcast sometimes later it will be so amazing you know all these places we are talking about there comes a part 2 after our investigation is done that will be amazing that will be so amazing uh, and coming to the psychics na jaise main bhi hamesha bolti hu that psychics can tune into different frequencies at different times and usme bhi jaise there are so many elements wahan par wo bhi bahut purana ghar hoga wahan pe bhi bahut sari cheeze hui hongi and agar wo ek dimensional uh, uh, fault line pe hai so there will be like you know inter uh, linking and crossing of spirits ya jo bhi hai so people these psychics could be tuning to different timelines kyunki kab savi aur mere bhi readings kabhi kabhi agar immediate match nahi hoti hai we are tuning to different frequencies to different timelines right. jo hum later hum log figure out karte hain that you know yeah and because psychic abilities itne varied hain exactly. clear clear senses itne hain peripheral senses itne hain so agar koi psychic ja raha hai wahan par and he doesn't find i mean he's not a clairvoyant और दूसरा क्लेयर वॉइंट जाके बोल रहा है यहाँ मुझे कुछ नजर आया 
दिस पर्सन के नॉट मेक इट अप राइट ही विल से मुझे नहीं नजर आया तो इसका ये मतलब नहीं है दैट नहीं है जैसे कि इवन आई हैव सीन व्हेन आई व्हेन आई हियर समथिंग आप लोगों को किसी को सुनाई नहीं देता है इन दैट केस सर्वर इज द मोस्ट शार्पेस्ट व्हेन इट कम्स टू हियरिंग वॉइसेस एंड आई एंड एंड आई एम सो श्योर जब मैं कुछ सुनता हूं एंड आई से यू नो व्हाट ये कैमरा में आया होगा एंड व्हेन आई सिट टू एडिट आई हियर दैट इसकी क्लियर ऑडियंस इज हाई जो कि हम लोगों की उतनी नहीं है एंड सो दैट डजेंट मीन कि यू आर नॉट गेटिंग रीडिंग्स और दैट आई एम फेकिंग माय रीडिंग इट्स जस्ट दैट वी ऑल एवरीवन इज अ साइकिक पूजा हैज बीन सेइंग फॉर जब से हम लोग के फील्ड में एवरीवन इज अ साइकिक एवरीवन इज स्टैपिंग ऑन टू सम फ्रीक्वेंसी हमको नहीं पता इवन दो यू आर डिक्लेयर टू बी वन पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ साइकिक यू आर डिक्लेयर टू बी वन पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ साइकिक नॉट नेसेसरीली कि आपका बॉडी भी वो टर्म के साथ ही काम कर रहा है आपकी बॉडी फैली हुई है and we are and we are exercising and we are exercising daily so we will develop new abilities yeah yeah and uh, i i was adding to this particular thing when you said ke uh, about the psychic part kya bataya tumne um do we tune into different, different timelines things. different yes, yes. Uh, energies frequencies Haan, i think i forgot what i was trying to say but anyway wo aayega jab bhi aayega but yeah <laughs> So that's what I was saying. I mean, we cannot discredit those psychics. Yeah. However, probably their methods at that point of time might have been primitive, might have been different. With growing, uh, you know, uh, development of psychics right now, the way we are actually into it, obviously we are living upon the legacy of whatever they had done. We know certain terminologies, like a lot of terminologies I learned from Pooja that she was telling me at that point of time what it is about clairvoyance and what it is about uh, being an indigo uh, adult or. Or, or something like that that is something i learned from pooja at that point of time i was having it all ingrained all natural in me so we have all fallen back on the research that they had done a long yes. time ago yes, yes, yes. and we have developed on that those terms and all jo ki they only coined and god knows what kind of opposition they in those ages might have had to face from people yeah. unko to pura pagal karar diya jaya gaya hoga ki you guys are kakus and you just go off so the thing is they would refer from one organization to the other yeah. like we do over here hum yeah. aapas mein hi ye ghumate hain i have a very controversial question please um, answer accordingly do you think um, and it's in relation to janet plus the billions of teenagers who are going through hormonal changes right now um, and not just hormonal changes i think rspk can also happen to a lot of other people who have this varied mood swings and yeah. changes in their frequency and auras um do you think especially uh, i'm asking from the point of view do you think hormonal changes can attract spirits i'm asking from janet's point of view yes according to me yes because uh, see we uh, and i'll come from a, a perspective of logic and science uh our ancestors were always saying that uh, pregnant women shouldn't be going out during an eclipse yeah. right yeah. and there was there is nothing uh, there is nothing uh, illogical about it and there's nothing religious about it although it started from a religion but after there is a lot of scientific perspective to it but because during eclipses the tides are higher yeah. the amniotic fluid in your womb also can be pulled up so there can be a damage to the fetus if you start bleeding at that point of time it will not stop very easily right even these are hormonal things yeah. right uh we know women especially even men go through a lot of hormonal changes every month yeah, but yeah. for us it is like a uh, hidden but for women you menstruate every cycle yeah, yeah. right and if you miss your menstruation cycle you know how crazy they go right and there are so many hormonal changes the pms uh, that brings upon a lot of craziness some people have physical problems some people have mental problems yeah. right and this is real yeah now you might not term this as possession you might not term this as a problem but we cannot deny the fact that these things definitely brings upon some difference in our Body. in our responses yeah right sometimes sometimes we respond higher even men for that matter some day they go crazy yes. but because we don't have a definite cycle like how the women do so nobody knows when is this person going to flare up yeah. or when is this person going to be super tolerant yeah. we don't know that and that's the reason a lot of people are completely volatile in nature they find one person better than the other at some point of time right so hormonal changes according to me does attract a lot of spirit and when you're talking about spirit it is not the soul we're talking about yeah. it's a spirit so the the ability to uh, uh, respond back the motivation the conscience it gets definitely gets altered 
I do believe. I am absolutely on the same. No, page. why I'm asking is there are two possibilities I'm seeing. Uh, in in the case of Enfield Polter guys, let's say, K. Uh, Bill Wilkins died there. Not necessary. His soul was stuck. Let's say it was not stuck. uh but like you said there is some overlap of the dimensional thing that is going on out that area or in that house whatever it is janet comes in like the family shifts the anyway the family is going through a very low stage of emotional uh, quotient or contain containment uh, because she is a single mother and that you know that of course single mother has to work hard to the teen bachche the unke and whatever whatever jo bhi tha तो एनी वो उनका लो फेस चल रहा था मूड वाइज एंड इमोशनल वाइज बट स्टिल देवर डूइंग ऑल दोज थिंग्स एंड देन वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू से इज लेट्स से द हाउस नेवर हैड एनी एंटिटीज बट इट वॉज हर आर एस पी के दैट अट्रैक्टेड द एंटिटीज एंड ट्रिगर्ड एवरी रेसिडल इंटेलिजेंट हॉन्टिंग्स दैट इज डॉमेंट फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स इन कॉम्बिनेशन विद वॉट पूजा एक्सेलेंटली मेड दैट पॉइंट अबाउट द डिमेंशनल ओवरलैप्स सो वेरी मच पॉसिबल तभी तो मैं वही बता रही हूँ ना दैट जेनेट दैट्स वाई शी बिकेम द चलता फिरता ई एम एफ पंप हाँ यार बट देन देखो कैसा होता है ना वेन वी गो फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेशन वी डिपेंड ऑन टू आई मीन डिफरेंट थिंग्स टू मैनिफेस्ट इट कैन बी ई एम एफ इट कैन बी आर एफ इट कैन बी एफ एम इट कैन बी एनी अदर वेव्स राइट टेम्परेचर it can be even uh, temperature or uh, uh, humidity anything, air pressure anything, anything. Air pressure, anything. right so lekin log poochte hai na ki agar emf mein manifest ho raha hai if suppose something is uh, manifesting using emf so if we use the emf meter on us why doesn't it spike because we should be uh, radiating a lot of emf ourselves but there can be some psychics who are actually radiating that oh, i would i would like to experiment on that but uh, as it is rightly said a battery is a battery till it is uh, i mean it, it, it's an, it's in yeah it's it's in it's in potential energy unless and until the circuit is complete it will not manifest right otherwise battery is a battery how do you explain this phenomena where they uh, rush to their sister's cousin someone's house After the neighbor, I think they go to another i think peggy's koi to relative tha jiske ghar mein jaake wo log ruke the for some days and they all saw ke unke bed ke upar there was an there was an impression like a body is lying how do you explain that part nahi to ho sakta hai from an rsp ke point of view ye attachment leke ghoom rahi ho na ho sakta hai na collective hallucination manipulation probably somebody's boyfriend was actually sitting over there and they just said oh ho ho <laughs> i know I'm, i'm just giving possibilities Haan. because again i'm coming from the same uh, 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 perspective that uh, uh, probably it was not an uh, janet but it was margaret Margaret. was causing all these things i i think janet margaret and uh, peggy were all involved because isme ye bhi likha gaya hai that the mother claimed to know when events were about to take place which means she was thinking about it and it was manifesting which is a clear sign of rspk acha ye likha hai ha rspk mein wahi hota hai ki you know ki yaar wo cheeze na udke ja ke udhar lag jaye uske sar pe and that's what happens hmm. they are they are not doing it but they are so visually manifesting it ke it just happens rspk uh, peggy bhi waise usko feel hota tha so it was like three females were all manifesting everything that was happening and they called in a bunch of entities triggered every residual energy and made that house was what it is right now but can you imagine this uh, uh, in all the other cases that we have dissected and everything the first person they called was the police over here they call in a psychic organization and the media and the media why would they do this uh, because back then um, uh, especially in london the psychical research was growing it was in like in its peak during that period why because warrens were already famous in the states and in europe it was a psychical research so people were going crazy and that's why europe and states are two places which are uh, hellbent on uh, hellbent as in they're crazy with paranormal activities it was because of this so much acknowledgement that happened and it was i think some of the other the neighbors also influence you know what this is not a case of the police i think we have everything seen कि एक ऐसा मूव हो रहा है पुलिस कुछ नहीं कर पाएगी एंड इवन व्हेन द पुलिस केम इवन द पुलिस की भी फटी हुई है ना हां उनको भी तो पुलिस भी देख रहा है चेयर स्लाइड हो रहा है उसके सामने चीजें हो रही है दे वर वेरी स्केयर्ड एंड इवन द पुलिस डिड देयर लाइक भाई साहब हम तो कुछ नहीं कर सकते हैं इंडिया में ऐसे केसेस इंडिया में ऐसे केसेस नहीं होते हैं यार नहीं होते इंडिया में आई मीन इंडिया में तो आई मीन जाके अल्टीमेटली कोई फेक बाबा या तांत्रिक कोई बुलाएंगे 
कोई ना कोई तो मिला फेक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फेक नॉट द रियल वंस देर आर रियल रियल वंस हु एक्चुअली हैव गुड नॉलेज ऑफ तंत्र बट वेरी रेयर वेरी रेयर हम आल्सो कमिंग बैक टू दिस टॉपिक ऑफ बिकॉज़ आई एम सो इंट्रिग्ड बाय आरएसपी के नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट कि व्हाट इज एवरीथिंग इज कॉज्ड बाय आरएसपी के बिकॉज़ उसका जब एक पर्टिकुलर एपरेटस में उसको जो रखा गया था एपरेटस नेम वाज ब्लंडल काउच विच इज एन अपरेटस दैट इज यूज टू मेजर सम काइंड ऑफ एनोमली उसको जब लिटाया गया उसके ऊपर एंड शी वाज स्टैप टू इट इट वाज सीन दैट जब जब वो पोजेस्ड हो रही थी उसका वेट बढ़ रहा था वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग टू हर बॉडी दैट वेट बढ़ रहा था डायरेक्टली वॉज इट ये जेनेट का जेनेट का हॉमनल वॉटर रिटेंशन उसफ But then, after where was it at that point of time? Suddenly, in the front, back, so we couldn't record very well. There was noises everywhere, uh-huh. and it could be a matter of exaggeration also. Possible that that is always there. Uh, but this particular person, he is a physicist. Can you imagine physicist people who do not believe in paranormal at all are so keen and intrigued by what she was going through? Okay, they all. I think there were two or three physicists who came and checked on her and asked what was going on with her scene. and this house i think so is uh, is uh, also uh, adjoined by two other houses right yeah. this is 284 282 and 286 was right just ne nee, 282 was their house was their building 282 or 284 282 282 isle when i saw 282 i Haan. looked at her because birth date acha isle ha so 282 to uske baju mein jo tha wo 284 aur piche 286 hoga so all around the house would mean either two sides of the garden if they are doing it or somebody else also involved in that if you look at the maps it is a south facing house yeah yeah maine jo photo dekha tha it was the entrance yeah maine bhi samne se dekha yeah but it would be uh, crazy to investigate that place though because na mere ko kya lag raha hai ke that place is still so charged is because every स्टैटिक एनर्जी जैसे आपने बताया दैट वॉज स्टोर्ड इन हर दैट वॉज ट्रिगर्ड इन हर और इंड्यूस्ड इन हर बाय द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड बाय द क्लेम्स एंड एवरी थिंग शी हैज ऑल लेफ्ट वही घर में एंड वो जो इतना सारा मतलब कैन यू इमेजिन ऑगस्ट से डिसम्बर ऑगस्ट सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर नवम्बर डिसम्बर एक्टिविटीज वेर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड फॉर फाइव मंथ्स पाँच महीने ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे कुछ ना कुछ हो रहा है irrespective of rspk or not irrespective of her doing or not something or the uh, else was happening and everything kyunki wahi pe uska scene khatam ho khatam ho as in band ho gaya suddenly so whatever made her realize and uh, please do answer if you have any theories ke what made her realize and what made her stop this thing uh, she has all left in that place only so no matter who stays or whoever investigates static bhara hoga wo ghar mein and as a result it would be constantly pulling more entities because the battery house and the house is like an inverter right now yes, battery yes. Hai wo pura ghar hi pump hai but both of sisters are still living yeah. it would be fun if both of them accompany us to the house yeah. to investigate yeah, yeah. rather than only investigators going there yeah, yeah. definitely but um uh, but yeah like i said like i mentioned uh, what do you think made everything stop suddenly because in ke hisab se just ke they realized ke it was a 24 year old female that was involved in all those things and the moment uska pata chal gaya ki acha ha ye involved hai to suddenly sab stop ho gaya there are so many angles right now that i can see wo wahi same year same year wo wahi pe reh rahe the lekin in the same house ha ha this is after the psychiatric treatment that she was going through uske baad hmm. i can see a uh, two very uh, distinct possibilities in this one is from a skeptic perspective again going back to i mean why did it stop i would say it was a uh, uh, an overblown case of media attention ke humne thoda bahut to ye kar diya koshish to kar diya we started a small spark but we never knew it would blow so much out of proportion and so many tests conducted on me because of you or whoever whatever is happening over there and after suddenly it will be like now this needs to stop 
we've got a lot of attention we've got a lot of money over it or whatever like or they didn't earn or whatever but then after those troubles were more out uh, weighing the positives yeah. so they said let's put an end to this right now and still it is still going on and they're still getting a lot of media attention now they're still called for interviews in yeah, different yeah, yeah. places yeah. and so it will take some time for that to taper off from a skeptic perspective i think it was a excessive media attention and uh, the modern uh, say about dissections of these uh, happenings that they must, must have asked them to just taper it off and just stop it right now that's it whatever happened at that point of time happened probably we were too naive young adolescent fighting over everything the society and all to get us attention now we've got it single mother single family whatever like that now we got it now we'll stop it so from a skeptic perspective i think that would have happened if you talk from the other believer complete you know a uh, uh, a hopeless believer perspective i think whatever had to happen at that point of time happened like probably uh, as i said there might have been a breakup there might have been some financial losses or whatever like that happened at that point of time and as you said that they found a scapegoat the 24 year old yeah. like you always say that you know what 50% of the uh, uh, of the battle with any disease is the diagnosis So in the same way if you look at the conjuring or if you look at any other possession 50% of the battle is won when you identify the demon when you know the demon it's done so it's it's a part of diagnosis if you look in the science uh, perspective so uh, even in this also what i see is they got a scapegoat they got okay fine oh 24 year old like how adam pegged it on eve isne mujhe tempt kiya and eve pegged it upon the serpent that isne mujhe tempt kiya so right now okay fine hua sab hamare wajah se lekin we got a scapegoat uske wajah se hua and then after us once you diagnosed it it all stopped together you have any angle nothing other than this i think this my, kind of sums uh, up yeah what my in my, my angle mind. is one of the one jo ki abhi as an example apne bataya ki ek um, क्योंकि द जैनट द अदर जैनट द स्पिरिट जैनट वॉज रिकग्नाइज सो इफ शी वॉज स्टक शी वॉज इन्वॉल्व वी ऑल नो स्पिरिट्स मोस्टली दे आर नॉट अवेयर दे आर डेड एंड बिकॉज शी गॉट अ क्लोजर ओ आई एम डेड और दैट यू नो समथिंग हैपन अ रियलाइजेशन हैपन एंड शी क्रॉस ओवर एंड द थिंग्स सेटल्ड प्रॉब्ली बिकॉज ऑफ हर जैनट का जो होल्ड था ऑन दैट हाउस कंसिडरिंग अदर एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर एंड स्पिरिचुअल फैक्टर वॉज सो स्ट्रॉग दैट इट वॉज ट्रिगरिंग अदर थिंग्स वाई ऑल द अदर थिंग्स बिल विंकिनसन भी जाग उठा कहीं पर बैठा हुआ था वो सडनली एंड एवरी थिंग एल्स हैपे एंड बच्चे का भी स्पिरिट दिख रहा है सब कुछ हो रहा है सो वैन शी क्रॉस ओवर शी लेफ्ट इट्स लाइक सारे कॉर्ड्स कट हो गए वन सेकेंड थिंग इट वॉज अ डीमन दैट वॉज हॉन्टिंग हर ऑल अलॉन्ग एंड अगेन लाइक यू सेट डीमन का नाम पता चल गया तो डीमन छोड़ कर चला गया दैट द बेसिक्स ऑफ एक्सरसिज यू नो भले इधर हम लोग एक्सरसिज नाम नहीं दे रहे हैं ये लोग बट दैट्स हाउ इट हैपन्स यू फाइंड आउट द नेम एंड यू आर ऑलमोस्ट डन दैट्स हाउ इट हैपन थर्ड थिंग लाइक यू सेड इट वॉज ऑल अ प्री प्लान थिंग लाइक इट वॉज अलिज और ब्लेम्ड इन अ वे ऑन पेगी दैट शी वॉन्टेड अ न्यू हाउस एंड दैट्स वाई शी क्रिएटेड ऑल दोज हॉकस पॉकस एंड रकस वॉट एवर हैपन and the last one would be for me is um, is the house is the house that is uh, that 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 is that that caused everything and uh, janet was the easier weaker link wahan pe and everything just fell on her yeah. everything fell on her not even around her on her usi pe target ho gaya because uh, uh, there was margaret for sure but if we see from her age point of view even though itna bada difference nahi but still she is 2 years older to her she might have some more maturity some more control over her changes in the body or in the environment or in relationship wise with her mother or in the society boyfriend wise whatever it is which for jen it was not possible because she is still in that growing stage wo apni behan ko dekh rahi hogi and the behan would be like कि यार ये तो एकदम मस्त सेटल होके है मेरे से कुछ नहीं हो रहा है सो यू नो कॉन्स्टेंटली खुद को ही वो ब्लेम कर रही है फॉर ऑल द सिचुएशन बहुत अंदर से शी वाज वेरी ब्रोकन एंड यू नो उसके बिफोर ऑल दिस हैपेंड उसके और चीज़ें होती थी वे शी यूज टू हिट हर हेड अगेंस्ट द वॉल एंड ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ द स्ट्रेस एंड डैड नॉट बींग वो बहुत कुछ होता था उसके साथ सो दैट्स वाई शी प्रॉब बिकेम द वीकेस्ट लिंक 
ट्रू आई सी हर यू नो पूजा मैं जैसे उसको रीड किया ना इन द इंटरव्यूज दैट शी वाज कमिंग आई सॉ अ पर्सन हु वाज वेरी मच बुलीड व्हेन शी वाज यंग एंड शी माइट हैव फाउंड अ रेफ्यूज अ कॉन्फिडेंट इन हर एल्डर सिस्टर एंड प्रॉब्ली वी इवन बीन आई मीन व्हाट एवर आई मीन इट्स इट्स लाइक नोबडी इज परफेक्ट सो शी माइट हैव बीन मैनिपुलेटेड आल्सो या नो बिकॉज़ इवन आप लोग साइकिल रीडिंग बोल रहे हो बट इफ आई सी फ्रॉम अ वेरी बॉडी लैंग्वेज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू हर शोल्डर हर सिटिंग पोस्चर हर चिन Uh, her talking uh, eyes they all represented that she was heavily bullied in school uh, she was not supported in the family and she lacked confidence majorly because of what she was going through quite obvious again androgyny because yeah. people might have uh, you know teased her a lot of, yes. over that over uh, of masculine features yeah, yeah possible and uh, sometimes london can be quite racist so yeah that is there no hate though because london is one of our favorite our but our favorites really yeah yes. but still the <laughs> race, <laughs> racism is racism is universal uh, universal, universal. Yes. Uh, we can't be just pointing out but yeah this is just an angle i think that's it for enfield poltergeist uh, if there's anything that we missed please do comment down below uh, if possible considering this case is so big we might bring in a part 2 if there are more information that we missed or more angles that you want us to cover and we would love to do that it might be a small one or a long one i have no idea but we might bring in a part 2 i think we can do that i think in all that we spoke my personal favorite was uh, what pooja said the yeah. the connection of the yes. dimensions yes. along with the combination as you said the house itself yeah. Yeah. so that house and janet is a recipe for disaster oh. exactly exactly i really love yeah, that perspective oh. Because, because that is one place where we, I mean, that gives us a, this food for research. Yeah. बाकी सब तो चलो बोल दिया, done. But this is something that we need to work upon now. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it, guys. That's it for uh, the Enfield Poltergeist case. Uh, I hope आपको अच्छा लगा. If you have any more suggestions for uh, the podcast dissection podcast, please do not comment movie names. Movie name, movies हम फिलहाल dissect नहीं कर रहे. we are not the right person to dissect movies very honestly it's it, it is no matter how good or bad it is it is it is still someone's creativity and uh, we are not the people from that industry jo ki hum usko dissect kar paaye hai na and um, movies ko hamesha watches watch as it as entertainment as watch it as a movie real paranormal kafi alag hota hai dono ko agar aap blend nahi karoge i think you'll be en- you'll be able to enjoy both independent yeah. independently yeah. so एंड yes. सी देखोगे जैसे कि जैसे कि पेंटिंग्स होती हैं स्केचिंग्स होती हैं सो so कुछ ना कुछ तो एग्जैग्रेशन होता है ना जितने कलर्स हम पेंटिंग में डालते हैं जितना उग्र रूप दिखाते हैं या हंसता हुआ चेहरा दिखाते हैं कम्प्लीटली कैरिकेचरिश वी मेक इट फील दैट इज़ नॉट वॉट रियल लाइफ इज राइट यू यू नो अगर कोई कुछ टॉम एंड जरी का कार्टून देख रहे हो तो यू नो नो बडी इज़ एक्चुअली ब्लास्टिंग इच अदर विद अ बॉम्ब वैसे नहीं होता या ऊपर सिर्फ नीचे देखने के बाद ही ग्रेविटी काम करती है ऐसा तो नहीं होता है ना सो यू डोंट बिलीव इन टॉम एंड जरी राइट सो यू हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू वॉच a horror movie or a paranormal investigation keeping the facts and the creative liberty aside yes and uh, by that this is the end of the elephant and filled poltergeist case uh, please do suggest uh, kaun sa next you want us to dissect and uh, we will surely consider and filled was highly uh, suggested and recommended to humne liya i hope aapko veronica wala episode bhi acha laga and uh, by the time we were recording veronica we had put forth के राइट नाउ वी आर इन वी आर एट फोर्टी थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स अगर फिफ्टी हो जाता है तो अच्छी बात है बट बाई दाइम दिस इज कमिंग वी हैव क्रॉस सिक्सटी आई डोंट नो कहाँ पे हो गया अभी हम लोग बट अगेन यू नो इट्स लाइक वी आर सही कि हम लोग सिक्सटी में है जब वीडियो आएगा तब कौन से नंबर पर होंगे हमको नहीं पता बट थैंक यू गाइज फॉर ऑल द सपोर्ट एंड ऑल द लव एंड वी आर ऑल्सो डूइंग वेरी गुड इन द ऑडियो वर्जन ऑफ स्पॉटिफाई on spotify and on apple podcast so this particular podcast is available or gets available or a podcast 24 hours ke pehle before they are released on youtube wo spotify pe available ho jata hai to aap wahan pe sun sakte ho if you are listening on spotify and if you are liking this one please do rate us we are i think um, 11 or 10 away from uh, 100 ratings and as of now we have a good average of 4.9 out of 5 and we have crossed 10000 audio place to total so even that is going quite good thank you so much guys it is all possible because of you and for the support and for all the fan clubs and everything that you people are doing it's crazy it's insane it's overwhelming but we are loving every second of it shout out for yes. anima yeah shout out to all the anima people do not know anima comment down and anima people should explain them what is anima right now 
and that's it guys that's it uh, we will see you next weekend with another podcast episode uh, by saying that uh, let's end the podcast this is sarbajit signing off and uh, pooja signing off savio and mike signing off yes mike <laughs> bye mike and bye everyone else good night good morning or whatever wherever you are listening this to bye bye bye